Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Furutech. So OnePlus Nord 2 has lots of the custom ROMs available but only Pixel S Friends ROM has got the regular support and updates. Thanks to your developer Sakil Mondol and his team for bringing yet another update but this time it's the latest Android 12.1 Pixel S Friends Plus edition which has bunch of the new additions in original Pixel S Friends so no compromise with the pure stock Pixel ROM with the new features add-on and the stable performance. We got this new update on 10th April 2022, so after using this for one day, here we will discuss the installation, all the new features, what's new in about phone, stability and the performance of the update and my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. So without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. I am using the Pixel S friends already on my OnePlus Nord 2 so if you are on the Pixel S friends you can directly flash the update in a TWRP without format. Still it's recommended to do the clean flash so download the ROM zip file. Now go to the settings, security and remove all the pins and the passwords. Now boot your phone in a TWRP mode by using the ADB commands on the PC. Because Pixel S friends ROM don't have the advanced reboot option in a power menu. Now in the TWRP, first tap install and select the ROM zip file. Once the flashing gets completed, go to the wipe and then tap format data. If you are able to format data, then directly tap reboot to the system. If you guess the error in a formatting, you need to boot your phone in a fastboot mode and then type fastboot erase user data and then type fastboot reboot. This process did not shown here. So finally phone booted to the signature boot animation of Pixel S Friends ROM. After setting up the device, we will check about phone section under the settings of the device. So this is the Android 12.1, we guess the same Android version number with the same old Android 12 easter egg. Here we guess the latest security patch of 5th April 2022, kernel upgraded to 4.14.275 plus. So this is the Pixel S Friends plus, not a simple Pixel S Friends version and it's built on the 10th April 2022. Now we will see what are the new features we get in the Pixel S Friends Plus. If you go to the settings under the system, now we get the few different customizations options like the buttons and the status bar. So let's check the buttons tab. Here we get the advanced system navigation and the volume buttons control playback like setting. In the system navigation, we get the gear icon setting for the three and the two buttons navigation. In that, we can invert the layout of navigation, we can use the compact layout and show the arrow key while typing. If we enable the control playback tab, we can able to use the volume buttons long press to seek the music playbacks. Instead of three finger gesture, we can enable the click to partial screenshot by long pressing the volume down plus power button, which helps to take the partial screenshot. In the status bar tab, we get the new advanced network traffic monitor. Here we get the display mode in the status bar or the quick setting panel, auto hide and the traffic measurement units. Another toggle we get in a double tap on the status bar to turn off the display. Instead of this, we get the all the other settings for the clock position, clock second activation, AM PM enabler, battery styles, battery icons, brightness control and the quick pull down. In the same system tab of the setting, we get the gesture option in that inside the press and the hold button. We get the another advanced restart option along with the hold for the assistance setting. In the advanced restart, we can now add the bunch of the new options like the screenshot, emergency, device control for the power menu, along with the advanced restart like the recovery, bootloader mode, etc. In the display setting, now we get the one more screen setting instead of the color mode. It's called as the live display. Here we get the reading mode and the advanced color calibration of the screen to manually set the screen calibration. So it's actually different from the color modes where you get the presets of the display like the natural, boosted and the adaptive modes. Another toggle we get in the display is the high touch screen polling rate. It's actually helped to increase the touch sampling rate of the device. Same tap to sleep on the status bar toggle again found here. If you go to the auto rotation setting, we get the face detection which rotate the screen as per the position of your head within the front facing camera. Some rotation modes of the different degrees like the 0, 90, 180 were added in the ROM. In the display and inside the lock screen setting, we get the display media art and the music visualizer options. But actually after the testing, only media cover art is only working here. New build has the new volume panel, 
where all the media volume settings are now aligned vertically instead of the bottom plus position as you seen in the previous bits. Per app volume tab is also available in the same panel. If you tap on that, you can adjust the volume for the ongoing media only, like I done for the SoundCloud in the video. In the sound setting of the phone, we get the two options like the link volume and the notification volume together and increasing ring volume option. Media sound output switch is also got embedded in the volume panel, like per app volume setting, so we can easily switch the media output without going in a quick setting panel. So this is all about the new features added in the original Pixel Experience ROM, so it's fully feature rich and called as the Pixel Experience Plus now. Let's do some stability and the performance test now. First is the Geekbench test, ROM is very smooth, no frame drop, no lag, nothing else is happening. After testing the Geekbench test, I got the 782 for the single core and the for multi core it is 2421. Score is overall decent but lower than the stock ROM, there we nearly got more than the 2500 most of the time. But still ROM doesn't have any performance issue, it feels snappy in every situation. ROM got past the SNX safety net checks so we can use the all the banking or the security related application without the issue. Wide one security is also L1 so we can play any online streaming media with the full HD resolution. All the sensor tests got past here. Only light sensor is not detecting, I don't know what the issue about this. But auto brightness is working without issue in the ROM. Only barometer sensor is not available in the phone, so its test got failed. So here comes the touch sampling rate as we enabled the high touch polling tab inside the display setting. Still I didn't got any heavy improvement in the touch sampling rate. Still for the fast moving finger movement, I got the more dotted lines with the some gaps, but it's not frequent so we can say the screen do not have the grade, but it has the good touch sampling rate. Instead of this, all the Android 12 L features were available in the ROM, I discussed them in a detail, you can check that from the right side card video. But one more feature called as the battery widget is available, but to use this we need to install the setting services APK from the link given under the video description, then first stop the pixel launcher from the app option. Now go to the home screen, long press and add the battery widget from the setting services. We can also access the battery stat by just tapping on this widget also. ROM has the, all the working features like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth with the HD audio, OLT networks, incoming and outgoing calls, auto brightness, fingerprint sensor, alert slider, everything. Unlimited photo backup for the Google photo app is also working here. ROM has the two camera application like the Android cam and the another one is the Google Go cam. Both are working and having no issues, still I recommend you to use the fully working Google camera. MGC build from the video description. But till the date we didn't got any OnePlus camera port for the custom ROMs. This is all about the new update, now Pixel Experience is the more feature rich if you are previously missing some features. Performance and the stability is also very good in the ROM. Battery life is a lot improved, you can surely get the 5 to 7 hour of SOT with the full day battery. ROM is getting all the regular update as compared to other ROMs, so I definitely recommend you to flash this update if you are a custom ROM enthusiastic. That's it guys for today, if you think I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content for the Nord 2. So take care, bye bye.